nobody believes in you. Nobody. If you are in that situation where nobody believes in you, then I say, who cares what they think? Right? Who cares? There are different types of people in this world. Different people will have different interests. They will have different things they like, and they will have different things that make them feel good. Some people really like when they receive validation from other people. And this is a big one, okay? This is a big one. And it's one that I notice a lot in my life in other people. I see this a lot. And I think that the reason I see it is because I kind of lack that. I'm not really, I mean, I never even went to any of my graduation ceremonies, right? I'm not a person that is big on, you know, even though, uh, you know, I have a YouTube channel, uh, you know, and YouTube is about, you know, being popular and like getting people to click your videos and stuff. Uh, it feels good. It feels really good when people watch my videos, but I'm not a person that really seeks validation from other people naturally. And this is important because, again, I'm not saying it's good to be that way or bad. I, I don't know. Again, people are different. But if you are a person who thrives off validation from others, and there's a lot of people like that in the world, right? A lot of people. I always wonder, like, if you think about it, right, there's, there's people in the world who have tons of money, right? Tons of money. Millions, billions of dollars, right? But yet, they still love to be on social media. Why? because they like that validation, right? Or maybe they just enjoy making videos. I don't know. In any case, there's a lot of people that like that. So if you are like that, if you are a person who needs that validation from others and you're trying to succeed and nobody believes in you, then you're in a bad spot. So what do you do? Well, you realize that you need to let that go. Who cares what they think, right? And I think that's going to make you stronger because that way you don't rely on other people. You're not relying on that validation from others, you know? You're going to get haters in all walks of life. You're going to get people that doubt you. And a lot of times the haters, you know, we call them haters, but a lot of times they're not really hating. Sometimes they are, right? Sometimes they are actually hating. But a lot of times people will hate and they kind of do it subconsciously. They'll make a a nasty comment or they'll say, oh, you're crazy. Or they'll just dismiss your ideas or your desires or your goals or your dreams. Like, oh, you'll never be able to pass that math class. Oh, you're, you're, you're too dumb to pass algebra. Ignore the haters. Think for yourself and realize that the most important person you need to believe in is yourself. And this is something that takes a while to learn. And I think that a lot of people never learn it. And a lot of people don't believe in themselves. Because when you believe in yourself, you start to realize that you can do anything you want in this life. You know, when, when students walk into a classroom, you know, an algebra class, you know, the first day of class, they're motivated and, you know, they're ready to go. And sometimes they'll come to my office and I, I would talk to them. And I would ask them what their degrees were. Like, what, what are you studying? And a lot of times they'd say something and, you know, say, oh, I'm thinking about going into the medical field. Maybe I'll, I'll do some, you know, some medical job. And I say, well, what about becoming a doctor? And a lot of times their eyes will light up like, a doctor? I could become a doctor? And I look at them and I say, yeah, you could be a doctor. And they're like, oh, I was just thinking about, you know, being like a nurse's aide. I'm like, oh, why not be a doctor, right? Why not, why not go big? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, you know, being a nurse or anything. But like, a lot of times people have these things that hold them back and, and they just don't believe you know, that they're able to accomplish something. For example, I think that at least in the US currently, if you're, if you're poor, college is free, right? If, if you're really poor and your parents are poor, college is free for the most part. In some states, the tuition's pretty high, so even with federal aid, it's hard to get in. But there's opportunity, right? You can go to college for free for a very low cost. You can get a degree. If you're smart enough, you can get scholarships. I mean. You can become anything in this world with enough hard work and dedication and time. Anything, right? Anything. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't become 
what you want to become, okay? Because you have to believe in yourself. So if people don't believe in you, good. Do it anyways, right? Do it anyway. Some people use rejection as fuel. Okay, they use that rejection as fuel. Personally, I have tried to do this and it is not in my personality to do that, okay? I, 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 I've, I've done it, but it doesn't work for me. Some people are able to use rejection as fuel. If you go on Instagram, there's a gazillion reels and they talk about like, you know, using rejection as fuel. Yeah, yeah, channel that anger. I'm not like that, okay? I, I don't, I, that's not how I operate, but some people do. So that could be a strategy that you could use, right? If, if people are doubting you, if people are saying you can't do it, who cares what they think, right? Prove them wrong, do it anyways, okay? That could be a way that you could use that rejection to grow and become stronger. But again, it's not for everyone, right? And for me, it's just not how I operate. I use my own belief in myself as fuel. And I think that's better because that doesn't rely on anything, right? It doesn't rely on other people at all. It doesn't rely on their belief in you. It doesn't rely on their disbelief in you. You've completely taken them out of the picture and you're focusing on your own success. You stand on your own two feet in this world and you make it happen. And that's how you grow and that's how you succeed. Finding inspiration through others is another strategy you can do when nobody believes in you. This is something that I do do. I do find inspiration from watching videos on YouTube or hearing stories about other people who have done great things. I find a majority of my inspiration from that and from believing in myself. And again, you can also find it by, you know, using that rejection and using that as fuel. But I, I tend to take a more positive approach and I think that's better long-term because, you know, when, when, you, when you try to use rejection as fuel, when you try to use hate as fuel, I just don't think that's a good way to do it. But you could do what you want. I think it's better, again, to be inspired. I mean, if you look at all the mathematicians out there, that is inspiring. Ramanujan is a great story. If you look at people that have done other things in life that you want to do, that can also help inspire you. So find inspiration, right? Who are your heroes? Who are your idols? Emulate them. Arnold Schwarzenegger used to say something along the lines of, you know, if you, if you look at a person and you see those qualities in that person, and I'm paraphrasing Arnold big time here. So you look at a person, you see what that person has, and you ask yourself, okay, I want to be like that person. What, what, what qualities does that person have? And then you start to emulate that person. You can slowly become that person. And this is a very loose interpretation of what Arnold says, but it's part of his philosophy, right? You can become whatever you want to become, right? You can do whatever you want to do. You just have to believe in yourself and you have to know where you're going. Learn to celebrate the journey. You know, when you, when you celebrate the journey, when you celebrate the grind, it's going to help you. If nobody believes in you and you're trying to do something, whether it be pass a math class or, or get a job, whatever it is, it's hard. And so that process is going to take its toll on you. So all you've got is yourself. You're believing in yourself. You're finding inspiration through, through others. But you have to embrace that grind because it's hard, right? It's hard. It's, it's, it's really easy to sit here and talk about or think about success and working hard. It's another thing to actually put in the work, okay? That is a lot harder, right? It's just like, it's much easier to um, watch a video where someone gives a big overview of like some math subject and they show you some cool pictures than to actually sit down and work through the rigorous proofs, right? Big difference, right? So it's more fun oftentimes to just talk about the hard work than to actually do the hard work. And so that's why you really have to just embrace the struggle, embrace the grind and keep your eye on the prize, right? When you're in those down times, remind yourself, what are you doing? What are you trying to accomplish, you know? and that will keep you going. Have good reasons for whatever it is you're trying to do. Embrace the grind and find that inspiration. And I think at the end of the day, the combination of these things is gonna help you if you're in a situation where nobody believes in you. And, and it, it's a tough situation to be in. And I just wanna emphasize that a lot of times, 
people are in that situation where they feel like nobody believes in them and they don't even know it. Because again, there's different types of people in the world. There's people out there who have enormous support systems. And there's people out there who have nobody. At the end of the day, it really comes down to one thing. All you have is you. It doesn't matter how good your support system is. You need to learn to believe in yourself. The key takeaway from this video should be that you can do anything you want with your life. And I mean that sincerely. You can do anything. I always remember the looks on students' faces when I tell them, well, why don't you become a doctor? Or, well, don't you like writing? Why don't you become a lawyer? You know, they're like, what? <laughs> I can do that? You can do anything you want in this world. There are resources. At least in the U.S., it's pretty easy. I mean, school is expensive. Like, law school costs money. Medical school costs money. So there are hurdles, right? You know, you can make excuses all day long. But at the end of the day, it's your life. And if you want something, you will do whatever it takes to get it. Right? If you believe in yourself, then you can do anything. If you want to learn math, check out my courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. When you use my links, it helps me greatly because otherwise Udemy takes most of it. And I've lowered the prices, so you should get a low price when you use my links. And yeah, the courses are on Udemy, but use my links because you'll get a low price. I've got all kinds of math courses, algebra, calculus, etc. Subscribe if you want, share if you like, all that stuff. But the key takeaway, again, is you need to believe in yourself and believe you can do anything. I mean, you can, right? You can. When someone gives you negativity, when you're working on something and someone says, oh, that's, that's crazy, that's dumb, or you shouldn't do that, think for yourself, right? Nobody is perfect. Nobody, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Nobody is perfect, right? So people sometimes will say things that they don't mean. So it's not just that they're hating, it's just sometimes people say things, right? So believe in yourself, get out there, and crush it.